Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. I'm doing two in a row, although I'll be recording them separately. Why you needed to know that, I have no idea. But kicking it off with um, another beer from Tuol, coming out of Denmark. Um, only tried a few of their beers and they've all been fantastic. And I'm hoping this one is the same. And it's the Mr. Blonde which is a Belgian India Pale Ale brewed with gooseberries and it's clocking in at 6.5% and uh, yeah interesting artwork as always um, I'm going to put a link down to a little documentary um, Vice did as part of their Munchies series where they actually went to the uh, the restaurant that the guys have opened and uh, they pointed out that their labels are actually purposely imperfect in design. And uh, you can see that here because it bleeds off to the side. But I like that. And they do interest in beers. And even the more regular styles that they've done that I've tried have been you know, fantastic. So a Belgian style IPA brewed with gooseberries. Um, I don't think I've ever had gooseberries in my life. So I'm not sure what sort of character I'll get from them. But... I'm guessing that it will be uh, easily picked up in the taste. And the best before date is 23rd of the 5th, 2018. So got quite a bit of a shelf life, but with a hoppy IPA, you don't really want to you know, leave it too long before you drink it. Nice amount of carbon, uh, carbonation smoke coming out the top. Really nice fizz already. And it's pouring really nicely as well. Yeah, give it way too much head, but who cares? So, uh, beer in a glass, it looks nice so far. Always a good start. Uh, it's a nice hazy orange. Um, it's got a sort of like a reddy pink, very slight tint to it that sort of differs it from, you know, your regular IPA, but it looks like an IPA. Nice and hazy, nice amount of um, carbonation streaming up to the top. And already, I'm getting like a berry tartness on the aroma. Which is backed up really nicely by this really nice hop character. Slight like sort of Belgian tones in there as well with the yeast, I'm guessing. But yeah, it's got this earthy berryness, which is almost quite leafy and herby as well. Like I said, I'm not too well versed um, with gooseberries, as you could probably tell. But, um, yeah, you definitely get that impression of a berry in there. And it smells a lot different to a regular IPA. But, yeah, beer poured with about three to four fingers worth of fluffy white head. That's gone a bit creamy on the top. So, anyway, looks good. Smells very interesting. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Wow. That froth is really quite bitter and sour. And then when you get through that, it's still bitter and sour. And there's a slight, like, goes, like, saltiness there as well on the flavour. Definitely get a very tart, sour, salty berry sort of character in there it rarely took me by surprise and uh yeah it's stinging the, the tongue but once you get past that it's got a nice slightly sweetish floral character to it on the taste a nice body not too thin not too thick Really tangy, tingly on the tongue. I'm getting a slight IPA sort of flavour there. Not too much. It's definitely a very... It's like a fruit juice, like a berry fruit juice that hasn't been sweetened. Like you've freshly squeezed it. And, um, yeah. I've never tasted gooseberries up to this point, but I can definitely, definitely pick up this slight funkiness there. 
At first it was, you know, took me back a bit, but when you get used to it, that slight saltiness though, that slight prickliness, it's quite refreshing actually. But yeah, fruit juice, get a slight barley flavour as well. It's not for everyone. Um, there are people who will take the first sip of this and be like, what in the name of hell am I drinking? It's got a slight, I don't know, tiny bit heavy on the, the body on you know, when you drink it actually as it goes down. But slight sharpness. Very dry. Very, very dry. But at the same time you're salvating, so you know you want to go in for another drink. And at around 6.5% is it? Yeah, 6.6% .6 ABV. Not picking up any alcohol at all. I wouldn't expect to. But yeah, definitely, definitely intriguing beer. Um, I'm going to unleash it on the better half in a minute, see what she says. But to me, I really quite like it actually. Quite savoury really now. Real savoury like bitterness after you've finished drinking it. Would I go out of my way to pick this one up again? Um, well at this point I'm still relatively new to the two old beers. So you know, just by the way I'm now. I'm going to try as many different ones as I can. Um, does it live up to something like the Biodamines Or the uh, New Frontier IPA? I think that's what it's called. Not really, but it's definitely a lot more intriguing. It's got a bit more character to it. It's a little bit strange, which I like. And that's the great thing about you know trying these beers is just what the brewers can do. And um, yeah, it's definitely something different. So if you want something that's a little bit tart, got a little bit of spice, a little bit of saltiness there, definitely give this a try. And um, yeah, Belgian IPA though. Um, again, not too familiar with the Belgian. IPA style. I mean, I've had you know some Belgian strong ales. You get that sort of um, lemony, slightly earthy sharpness, if that's the right word, from like a Belgian strong ale. Very, very slightly. It's just that sourness from I'm guessing those gooseberries that is the predominant flavour. Like I said, quite overbearing for some people, but for me, uh, yeah, a very exciting beer indeed. So, it's not a ten out of ten. I wouldn't give it a 9 out of 10, but I'd happily give this beer an 8 out of 10. Probably if I came back to it after trying more beers of this style and trying other beers from to all, I could probably give you a better, well-rounded opinion. But yeah, as a beer, it's definitely something different. So if you come across it, give it a try if you want your taste buds to be attacked. But yeah, not too bad, 8 out of 10. So if you've tried this one, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, what are some of your favourite to all beers? that I should look out for. Um, Beretta has uh, a nice selection actually of their beers and it changes quite a lot as well. So especially with, excuse me, with autumn and winter coming up, hopefully I can get my hands on something interesting. Um, I mean, they've got loads of their pale ales and variations on the IPA and that sort of thing and a few sour beers. But uh, yeah, let me know what to all beer I should try next. And uh, yeah, if you want to find out more about this beer and the brewery, links are down below. Check out my 2 old playlist for more. Um, I've really enjoyed everything I've had from these guys so far. I can definitely see why they are as highly regarded as they are. And uh, yeah, I will carry on drinking their beers. So thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter if you feel like it. I'm going to put a link down below to um, a beer tuber thing that I'm involved with. Um, over on Blue Nose Beer Reviews channel, Harry, um, Jonathan Brown from uh, Northern Southern Beer Reviews is there, uh, Gareth Gaz Gravy from Gravy's Beer Reviews, Craig from Kent Beer Reviews, Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews, um, and I'm sure there'll be a lot more people joining, uh, even stateside in the future. So I'll put that link down below. And uh, yeah, I've got another beer to try because I'm going on uh, in a little bit. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you later. Cheers guys.